Hey, I'm Sully. And I'm Force. And we are the Vancouver Canucks Green Men. The first Canucks game we went to was December 23rd, 2009. It was just supposed to be a one-time thing. We thought, let's go hang out by the penalty box. The crowd went wild, and it just kind of became a big thing. We tried to get into the player's head in the penalty box. Like, we got the seats right next to the box. If you can get in the player's head and just screw with them a little bit, you can knock them out of that zone. It's hard to get back in there. We like to break down the game film, see what we did wrong, see what we can improve. That's nice. It's good form. Vancouver Canucks are kind of the Chicago Cubs of hockey. It's the 40th year of the team and we've never won a Stanley Cup. So when we set out on this, we said we weren't going to stop until the Canucks win the Stanley Cup. These are the green men's seats, row 1, seat 13, row 2, seat 13. This is where we do our damage. We have a few different moves in our arsenal if a guy comes into the sin bin here. We like to be very sporadic, quick, sharp movements. Have the guy thinking, you know, what are these guys on, and I want to be a part of it. Second one, we like to, a uh, little cry baby, you know, break out the Kleenex, make him feel bad that he's costing his team. Third one, break out the handstand. And that's where we really hit him. That's our deadliest weapon. Also a variation of the reverse handstand, and that, he just sees the total backside, messes with the head a little bit, and it's got to be absolutely disgusting for him to look at. Our second deadliest weapon. Yes. We prefer to keep our identity secret because uh, everyone loves that mystique. Who are these green men? How do they get those seats? Superman changes in the phone booth. Batman's got his bat cave. We get changed in an even cooler spot. It's called the underground parking lot. Superman had Metropolis and Batman had Gotham City. We have Rogers Arena. I mean, that's our, our layer with like a sanctuary. Life's great when the suit's on and then the suit comes off and it kind of brings you down. It's, it's, a, it's a weird high. Maybe it's the Chinese lead in these suits. We never thought it was ever gonna get this big. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, and now you'd be hard-pressed to find anyone in the city of Vancouver who hasn't heard of Green Men or isn't a fan of us. This one's on me, guys. Love your work. We're two goose and green, let's be realistic. We don't contribute that much, and uh, I just think that's it's kind of cool. It shows how passionate our city is. When I first saw This isn't exactly the dream I had when I was growing up. If the eight-year-old me saw me wearing this, he'd probably be crying in his pillow right now. But uh, it just sort of happened and it turned out great and, and I love it. I hope to be buried in this suit six feet under. I never want to leave this, ever.